Yeah. Each one comes in its own crystal ball. Collect one. Collect them all to be the first one on your box to own the amazing new Mickey Mario toys. Hurry before they're all sold out. Hurry, buy one, buy them all. Buy them all. Yes, Donkey Kong, buy them all because you love Mario so much. <sighs> Nintendo logic. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Tommy353 here, and welcome to my new Let's Play on Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Now, I basically ins explained everything in the, uh, in the last video where I introduced this game to you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right in with, uh, into file B, and here's my completed file over there. I really like the toads in this game. I don't know why the models are just really cool. I'm surprised the Game Boy can even handle this. Okay, World 1, here we go. Mario Toy Company. Let's get going. So, um, there's a tutorial at the beginning of every level, uh, explaining, like, what you're supposed to do, and new mechanics that you're gonna be using in that level. So, uh, basically every level has two sections. The first, uh, is where you have to bring the key to the, the keyhole, and, um, the second section is where you save the mini Mario toy and the crystal ball thing, you'll see what that is. But this is also a puzzle game, uh, and adventure, because, like, the switches, you have to, like, figure out, like, what you're supposed to do and stuff. Uh, also, the controls are, Mario's moveset is really cool. Um, well, first of all, he has a backflip, like always. Um, if you duck and press A, Mario can do a freaking handstand, which I really love. And then he can do that, he can jump off of it, and if you time it right, he can do a jump like that, which is really, really cool. So, yeah. Uh, there's these help things over here, which tells you what to do. Sp springs, basically, just time it right when Mario hits them. So, yeah. This game can, uh, has enemies, too. You'll probably, yep, right here. And, um, yeah, we have to save that mini Mario up there. Um, oh, I really love this soundtrack. Oh, um, bad. Ah, shit. Yeah, Mario does not have HP in this game, so, uh, you can also pick up some enemies, uh, like Shy Guys here, uh, yeah, you can also climb ladders, which is, as you can probably realize, is a throwback to the old, uh, original Donkey Kong, because, like I said, uh, this game is also kind of like a sequel to the original Donkey Kong, because it has some gameplay mechanics from that, like climbing ladders. Um, you can also jump off of ladders, which is cool. Oh, and here's another mechanic from Donkey Kong, uh, the hammer, which does the same thing it does in uh, uh, the original Donkey Kong. You're basically kind of invincible. Some stuff can kill you with the hammer, so... Um, how can we get that key? Uh, also, uh, a new hammer mechanic. If you press B, you can actually let it go. And you can actually, like, let it fall, and you can, like, save the hammer. Um, I don't know where it just went. Okay. Do 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 I really love the music in this game, too. Especially, uh, oh, I was just about to spoil the third world. <laughs> uh, I guess I won't spoil it. 
Um, what do I have to do here? I have to press the red one. I don't even know why I pressed the blue one. I believe you can, uh, defeat the oil cans with the hammer. Yeah, you can. So let's get the key and press the blue switch. Oh, I have to show you what those presents, uh, do. When you get three of them, at the end of each, uh, stage, you get a bonus thing to unlock, uh, like, one-ups and stuff. You'll see what that is once I collect three of them. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, the fire guys, yeah, they, they're from, uh, Donkey Kong, too. If you got to, like, the third stage or something. And crap, crap, crap. Back up there. And there's a one-up. Oh, and if you fall from, fall too high, Mario will do that. Sometimes if you fall from a super high place, Mario will actually die. So be careful. Just like, uh, actually, I actually never knew that. Um, now that I think about it, um, that's actually from the original Donkey Kong. If you fell too high, you would always die. Well, the original Donkey Kong was, like, really stupid. Like, if you were up, like, this high and you jumped off, you would probably die right there. No, oh yeah, I got three presents, so you'll see what that does in a few seconds. Yeah, this is what it does. It won't always be this mini game. Uh, there's two that I know of. The other one is where Donkey Kong tries to punch your prize, and damn it. And you have to, like, switch the boxes. You'll see when I get another three of them. Oh, here's another mechanic that I really like that's completely new. If you jump and grab this, and you can hold up, and you can jump off like that, which is really cool, which, like, is a mechanic from any other game. It's a new mechanic, and I think, like, that's the only mechanic that involves that thing in any Mario game that I can think of. I don't know why this game, like, uses trash cans as, like, the miscellaneous object for throwing. I really don't know. Like, why couldn't it be barrels? That would be so much more, like, making sense. If you know what I mean. Let's try to get this one up. Um, I'm gonna try to MLG here. I'm not sure if I can do it. Oh my god, that looks awesome. I'm like, I'm barely standing on it. Uh, I totally fucked up. Uh, I'm gonna do Matrix again. Aw. Oh. Shit. <laughs> um, let's get that. Oh yeah, shy guys don't fall off the ledge. Oh lord. Um. Oh, I wanted to MLG that. That would be so cool. Oh. Wow. Uh. Um, if you wonder wondering why I'm I'm doing this as my next let's play. Um, I wanted to do another Game Boy, well, Pokemon Crystal wasn't Game Boy Advance, but it was Game Boy, uh, Color, but I wanted to do a Game Boy Advance game that had Mario in it, and I'm not really up for Mario, the Mario Advance series, and, uh, other than that, it was either Mario Golf or Mario Tennis, whatever they're called for the Game Boy Advance, and I didn't want to do that. Because I really don't like the spin-offs, and I just flat out think this game is really unique, and Nintendo did a good job, and I wish the sequels could be like it too. Oh, and here it is, where you swap boxes to save which one you want, and I wasn't even paying attention to which is the one up. I'm gonna get a Donkey Kong face, aren't I? Oh, never mind, okay, good. Oh, I actually got a two up. Um, I'm actually 
probably gonna end up in the video off here, so... Uh, so I guess we'll do about a half a world each video. Uh, ooh, this level, the one with the treadmills. I believe this level is actually quite long, if I remember. It's kind of hard to figure out. Um, sometimes in this let's play, I will be probably puzzled about things. Where's the... Oh, wait. It's that easy? I just throw it down there? Oh, I thought it was a lot harder than that. Okay, well, it's only world one, so... Oh, yeah, those, uh, zapper things, as I used to call them. Uh, yeah, if you touch them, obviously, you die. So, um, oh, also, you don't, you can't just, uh, you don't just la launch yourself out of these, uh, off of these, or whatever I'm trying to say. Um, you can do this, too. You can move from side to side. Like that. Oh, crap! I wasn't paying attention! I wasn't paying attention! Damn it. <laughs> uh, that's what I get when I was, like, thinking about, like, KFC when trying to talk to you guys at the same time. Uh, and that's what I get for trying to get a one-up when I knew the damn thing was going to come back. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Come on, come on. Oh, I didn't even know this was up here. <laughs> uh. Did not. I don't think. I don't recall holding left right there, but. Alright. Uh, I can't wait till spring. I'm probably just gonna. <laughs> uh, as I was saying. I'm probably just gonna, like, ride my bike all over the place, and crossroads I'm not supposed to, and get into trouble around the town, you know, the usual. <laughs> I almost got hit by a car playing Pokemon Go. I don't even play that game anymore. That that died out fast. I know the Jota region's out now. And that's the thing, but no, nobody plays Pokemon Go over anymore. It's over now. It was popular in the summer, and I got to level 21. I actually got pretty far. I had really good Pokemon. They were, like, over, like, 1,000 CP. My highest was, like, 1,500. It was like a gold duck or something. I don't know why I pressed that switch. Okay, now I know why. This game does get harder with the puzzles. Believe me, it does. Once we reach like World 3 and World 4. World 3 is pretty frantic, actually. Let's put that there. I think I'm gonna end the video off after this level. And there we go. Into the keyhole. Door. Okay. Um... Oh, Lord! Damn it. <laughs> um, is it... Is this level that easy? It's not even that puzzly. Like, all you have to do is... You know what? I bet I could... Let's see. No! No, no, no. Oh, I thought I would die by the Shy Guys. Um, what I was trying to do is... Shh. Damn it. Get over here. Get, oh my, I'm trying to do Matrix here off of Shy Guys. Okay, let's try this again. Wow. Uh, you know what? 
There we go. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. It wouldn't have been faster if I just went up the spring. <laughs> that, level, that level was pretty easy, though. But anyways, I'm going to leave it off there. We already got a little over halfway through this world. Uh, so, bye, guys.